Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. So we'll open up the door, and here we have the door panel. So we are going to start at the door handle right here with a small flat tip screwdriver. We're going to pop this little secret panel out. You'll pop it from the top down, and then there's a Phillips head screw right behind it. So we're going to go ahead and remove that. Now with that same flat tip screwdriver, you can kind of poke in here and pull out. And you want to pull from this side because right here hooks on to the back. So we'll pull that out. Now around the door are these five plastic, uh, they look like um, T20 Torx screws, but they're actually made out of plastic. And to get them out, have to kind of be very gentle because they are plastic and usually the whole thing turns. But once you get them loose, then we'll have to pull this out as well once we get to that point. Now we need to pop out these little, um, these little plastic retainers and we're going to do that with a trim tool which you can actually buy at 1AAuto.com. I'll have to get it in behind there first though. There we go. You can see once you've pried on it, it pops right out. They often fall on the ground as you're trying to do this. There we go. And there's the second one. Up at the top, we have this trim piece, and this thing just pops off with three little push pins. We have to take out the window switch next, which you can use the trim panel tool to remove. And then we'll want to unplug it by pushing down on this tab and then sliding the connector out. So now we're gonna pull the door handle or door panel up and it should come right off. Here's our door speaker, and we're gonna use a five millimeter socket and a ratchet to remove these four bolts that are holding it to the door. All right, there's the speaker. And now we can push down on this connector and remove it from the speaker. All right, so now we wanna get the window regulator in a certain position, so we have to plug in the window switch. And then right down here, you'll see, this is where the glass connects to the window regulator. And if we move it up a little bit, um, you can see that there's a couple of tabs in here that you have to push down on to separate it from the regulator. Um, now over here on the other side, there's another access panel and you could disconnect the glass from this side um, through this panel but it would be kind of uh, a difficult process right at about this level in the door is where you want the bottom of the glass to be and if you cut out this little access panel here you'll be able to disconnect the, the glass from the regulator right here and right here at the same time where if you were going up through this panel you'd have to disconnect it on the bottom and then roll the window up and disconnect it on this side and that presents some dangers because you may end up breaking some clips on the window, which you don't want to do. So we're going to knock this panel out. All right, now we can see the clips that we need to disconnect right in there. All right, while holding the glass with one hand or having a friend hold it, 
um, you're going to want to come in here and push on these little tabs on the glass. And that will allow the glass to be raised up. So this side is now disconnected. Now we have to do the same for the other side. All you have to do is push the little tabs in. Okay, once you've pushed the tabs in, you can pull the glass up. And what I like to do is I'll grab some tape. And I'll tape the glass to the door. All right, now we're going to disconnect this window switch that we temporarily put in place. So now the power window switch wire needs to get out of the way. So we're gonna just start unclipping it. Then we'll do the window motor. And the speaker. We'll use the trim tool to remove that clip. Okay. Around this inner plastic door, door panel, there's 11 10 millimeter bolts that we're gonna need to remove. All right, we're gonna remove this access panel, like so. And the door handle has a rod that comes down on the bottom, and it has a pink little clip that we need to remove. The clip is just like the one on this interior door handle, where you just kind of pop it off and then you can pull the lever out of it. I'll put this one right back in so you can see how it works. All right, now we're gonna remove these three latch bolts with this T30 socket and a ratchet. All right, now we're just gonna pull this inner door panel off. And we should be able to slide it out just like this. All right, so now we're going to disconnect this wire from the door lock actuator, which is a little tricky to get at. There we go. And we're gonna need our trim tool to pop it out of this plastic. There we go. Oops. We'll slide it out of there. We'll feed this connector right through. And then we'll get the rubber grommet through the door, or the plastic panel. All right. And now it's completely separate from the vehicle. We're gonna feed the door lock actuator wiring through here and under the window regulator. rubber grommet through like that. We'll snap that one into place and snap this one into place and then this goes under here this one goes behind and push that through this hole and then up here, 
We just have to clip it into the door lock actuator. Okay, so now we're gonna slide the door panel back inside the door. We're gonna do this latch side first. these three bolts in the door latch. Behind the latch is this rod that we need to clip into the pink clip. So I'm gonna snap it in just like that. And then I can close up this little access panel. We're gonna clip the wiring back into place onto the power window motor, under this clip and under that clip, and then down here for the speaker. This one actually needs to go under. Like this, so. All right, and now the wiring harness is back in place. So now we're gonna drop the glass back inside the door very gently so that we don't break anything. So I'm gonna start removing the tape. So now we're gonna slowly drop the glass back into the door until it comes down here and lines up with these clips. Like that. All right, now we're gonna test the window regulator by putting the window switch back on the door and telling the window to go up and down. Now we're ready to reinstall this speaker. So I'm gonna plug it in just like this. And then rest the speaker on this inner door panel where I will insert these four screws. And now we'll use the five millimeter socket to install these four screws. Okay. Now we can start reinstalling these 10 millimeter bolts that go around the door panel, or inner door panel, I guess you'd call it. Put the door panel on. We're going to start with the window switch, feeding it up through here. And the door lock up on this corner. It's a little tricky to find. More tricky than expected. There it is. And we'll plug the window switch in. Now we're gonna slide the door handle bezel over the door handle. Doing the back first. Snapping it into place. And then we have the Phillips head screw that goes in the center. And after the screw, we have this little cap that covers the screw. All right, now we're gonna put these little push pins in all the holes, and we'll follow those up with the screws. All right, and now you'll see the bottom of this trim panel has these two little um, pins that line up with the door panel. So you want to make sure you line those up and it just snaps right in. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.